here's one story. It's in the book and it's important <laughs> because it's so unorthodox and I've never heard anybody have a situation like this. But while we're in the support by fire and we're leaning into this bunker and our guys are, you know, about to do this action, right? We intercepted traffic that said, hit them with the big one. And they start passing that down the line. Something big, something big. Keep, you know, we figured um, SV bid, you know, what else would be the big one? And uh, so everybody's cautious and on alert for the big one. And we're laying into this bunker, you know, whole platoon of guys reinforced laying into the bunker. And all of a sudden here comes the largest mule I've ever seen comes running down the road. And now there's a land bridge. And if he comes out of that land bridge, he's like 200 meters from us. And he's got this contraption on his back. It's like four foot up, four foot wide, and he's running right at the land bridge like he's coming at us. God damn, I know where this is going. And I don't know who it was, man, but somebody yelled, it's the big one! And instead of shooting at the machine gun bunker where rounds are getting fired out of, every swinging dick turned onto that mule. And just he ate shit, man. And I don't know how many hundreds of times he got hit. I'm machine guns, saws, all of our small arms people turned on to him and he just, you know, right there at the land bridge. And later we found out that it was a big bundle of poppy stems. It wasn't the big one, but we all, we all thought it was because of what we heard. And so, um, shitty thing about that is nobody's coming to clean him up. So he's just laying there where now our home is going to be for an extended period of time. And just uh, there was a lot of that, but it was it was wild to see every marine hard ass that's fighting an enemy that is shooting at him switch off of the guns that are firing at him to kill this mule or donkey, whatever it was. Um, but that was that was a funnier thing that happened, I think, uh, in a time when things weren't really funny. Yeah. So you know, it's it's an interesting angle, I guess. It's something that. I think a lot of people maybe think about it, maybe they don't, but it's not something that gets highlighted very often is the, I'll call it atrocity and unfortunate reality that how animals are impacted in war zones oh, because man. obviously they have no fucking concept of what's going on. Mm -hmm. A lot of them, most of them, probably all of them are scared. Um, you know, and, and you see just the, the shitty fucking things that, that happen to everything you know yeah. i mean there, there's just nothing fucking good about it no nope. you know and, and to me it as i the older i get the more i reflect on how fucking horrible warfare is um and and how it should just frankly be avoided at absolutely all fucking costs yeah, i couldn't and, agree more you know and, and how easily um w one of the things that chaps my ass the most about our government is how easily some of the spineless fucks that are in office are willing to roger our guys up and roger our resources up to go enact that kind of horrible fucking violence on, on other places with what seems like so little fucking regard. Mm. Um, it, it really fucking, it, it just makes my blood boil when you see, you know, so many of our politicians, especially right now that are running for office, we should do this and I'd do that and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you fucking do it then, mm -hmm. you know, who from your family's fucking doing it, mm -hmm. you know, and it, uh, God, it fucking pisses me off. I heard somebody say one time and whoever it is, is it's escaping me. So if it was you, I apologize. Um, I but, doubt so, it. but somebody, somebody, somebody told, said, uh, made the comment that before we ever go to war as the United States against another people, the president of the United States should have to bring an American citizen in the Oval and shoot him in the head. Yeah, that for sure wasn't me. But No, no. I don't believe that that should happen. Yeah. But if you as a president can't do that, yeah. that is what you're doing. Yeah. When you say, okay, we're going to go to war for whatever reason, if you don't believe in it enough to do that, then you better not do it. If you yeah. can't say that that one is good enough um, or, yeah. or that you would have part in that, then you shouldn't be sending other, other Americans to die. Yeah. And then it becomes a, a game like, okay, so is a proxy war will, worth doing that? Yeah. Probably not. No, because, I mean, the end result is the same. You know, I mean, you're, you're still uh, contributing to the same same environment. You know, mm -hmm. now you can continue down the rabbit hole and say, okay, well, you know, warfare is, is the grim reality of mankind. It's always taken place. It's always going to take place. And, and I don't disagree with that. I mean, I think it's a, 
I don't think it is a pipe dream to think that world peace is even possible, in my opinion, in, in that, you know, mankind and the psychology behind human beings, I don't think allows for world peace to exist. Mm -hmm. I, I truly don't. And that's not me being a pessimist. I think it's more of being a realist of just knowing that power corrupts, you know, and absolute power absolutely corrupts. corrupts and there's absolutely. always going to be people who are in positions of absolute power. It's just, that's how the world is set up, you know, that's a fact. Um, so that there's always going to be an element to that. Now, one could argue that to avoid war, uh, and to avoid this happening a lot, and, and I do tend to agree with this uh, in terms of picking a lesser of two evils, is kind of the Tecumseh Sherman, you know, scorched earth fucking policy of like, if if it comes to that, make it so god awful that mm. nobody wants to do it anymore. Because mm. right now it's like when you look at the tit for tat, the proxy wars, and the little bit of help here, and the little bit like, honestly, it 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 just drags the shit on more, and and to me seems like it makes people and, and nations and collectively our our population of the entire planet suffer more mm. because it's just it, it's constant fucking incursions and and um you know d different hot spots constantly fucking going on all over the place i don't know it's a racket <clears throat> yeah for sure it is i mean there's there's a ton of money involved and you know it just I don't know. The, the fucking donkey story got to me. I, Sorry. You know, it's just like. <laughs> no, it's a fact. It's bad. It's bad for yeah. everybody. No, I know, you know, some, some may be listening. You didn't have any emotion, you know, hearing 14 women and kids. You know, to me, it's, it's, you know, maybe it's even a pun, but it's like the straw that broke the camel's back almost. It's, it's like, it's one more thing of just like, fuck, man. Mm. You know, like, it, I think it just highlights, you know, both of those stories, like, kind of compacted into the same day basically mm. or the same even you know few hours i think really speaks volumes and kind of highlights the atrocity of of what, what warfare is you know um and it's just fucking bad for everybody anyway 